I, I want to talk about your uh, your college days. I know you went to um, you know UT and in, in Austin. Uh, I'm actually I'm a huge fan of Austin. I'm actually going back to Austin to spend another month there next week. Nice. Um, what 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 about you know that school made you decide to want to go there back then? Bro, I loved it, man. I actually just recently bought a house out there, and like it's just it's home for me now. I love it down there. Um, it's just one of those places where it's just I honestly I can't describe it. It's just like you have to see it for yourself. I feel like people try to describe Austin all the time. Like, oh, it's weird. You know, it's just it's, it's a great city, but you'll never really get the full spectrum as you get there. I think what really did it for me was the city. You know, I went on my visit, and I had never really been to Austin before. I kind of just, like, driven through. But, you know, they had a really good team the year prior to me going there. And I think that, you know, adding me into it, we would have, you know, uh, we could have, like, had opportunity to, to get even better. Um, I love the campus, and I love the idea of being a Texas kid. You know, I, you know, I grew up in, in Dallas, and, you know, having that Texas connection after basketball was something that my mom was very adamant about. She was saying that, you know, no matter what you do, if you're a Longhorn, you know, everybody knows, you know, what this means. Everybody knows, right. um, has like a Longhorn connection all across the world. You never knew what, know what connection you can make, you know, when once you're done playing basketball or, you know, once you get your degree or anything like that. So that was another um, factor that went into it as well. And I think once I got there, man, I just fell in love with it. You know, it was just um, one of those things where I just, once you know, you know. That's awesome. Also, hats off to you for buying real estate there. That is an incredibly booming market. Literally the number one place that people are moving to from California right now. Oh, bro, it's unreal. I was just talking to my, my financial guy and I literally, like, I got into it during quarantine, like this, this past, uh, in 2020 when it, when it was just going. And um, like now, like as of right now, there's like no real estate in Austin, like whatsoever. Because you said everybody's moving and like inflation's up 20 to 30 percent. So like I got it like just in time. <laughs> well done. Well done. And for, for those that don't know Austin or even for myself, you know, going back, I know it a little bit, but are there any hidden spots, whether it be food or, you know, parks to go to that you really recommend? Barton Springs is my personal favorite for mm -hmm. I run there and then, you know, we'll jump in the water and run, run back. But are, do you have any personal hidden gems in Austin? Um, Barton Springs is dope. I love, I, I do love it out there. Cause like the, the natural spring water, whatnot, uh, Mount Zion is really cool. Mount Bonnell. Um, I love, love going outdoors and hiking and whatnot. So I actually live in a, in a city called Lakeway. Lakeway is like right on Lake Travis. So there's a lot of like little like uh, cliff diving spots, stuff like that out there. Due to con contractual reasons, I can't actually cliff dive, but you know, um, there's a couple like cool <laughs> spots up there where you watch some guys do it. Um, as far as food is concerned, bro, like it's it is a who's who. Like there's so many so many places I haven't even discovered yet. You know, I like it's you know once I'm there in the off season, only so much I can eat just to keep myself in shape. But I guess some of my favorite cheese spots is like Franklin's Barbecue. That's insane. Like one of the best barbecue spots I've ever had. Um, if you actually go a little bit more south and go to Lockhart, Texas, that's like the barbecue capital of Texas. Um, and as far as just, just, just being in a city, bro, like just, there's so much you can find, bro. Just like being downtown, just going onto the outskirts and, you know, it's just a, like I said, a who's who.